morning. Today is Miss Positivity. I have Miss Positivity here. Miss Hilda is here. And who better to be with me today than the lady who has brought amazing music to the mountains of North Georgia and introduced us to so many cool things from car shows to crafts to antiques to a beautiful uh, collection of organs. Hilda, you've done so much to open the doors to. Welcome to Georgia. Well, thank you. We have really tried hard at the Georgia Mountain Fairgrounds to bring some great music and That's all crazy. types of music to entertain people. Every kind that we can possibly think of. Because there's a lot of people like bluegrass. There's a lot of people like country. There's a lot of people like gospel. There's a lot of people like rock. So we got a variety. <laughs> you have a variety. And, and I'm looking. I have still never seen the Malpass Brothers. I've heard them. Have you not? But I've oh, never seen goodness. them live. Or the Bellamy Brothers. Never seen those oh, two live. Oh, you're missing out. You I need think to come see most that. of the rest of them I have. And I got tickled because we have, you have such a huge, amazing schedule. And um, you're always striving to do more. Each year you're like we got to go over the top we got to go over the top what have you topped it with this year well this year i was just counting just before we went on the air here right now we've got about 45 events that we've got planned oh, this year that's almost and a whole year it is it's that's almost every 52 week. weeks you have it's yeah, crazy and, and sometimes we have um double dip in. yeah we do <laughs> double dip in one weekend <laughs> so we can get it all in yeah, so yeah. yes we do have a lot. Like this weekend, for example, we got Josh Turner and the Hiawassee uh, Highlands Wine Festival coming wow, out. Wow. We've got 25 wineries from North Georgia. Uh -huh. uh, it's unlimited tasting. Uh -huh. You get a souvenir glass. And we have all these vendors set up. We have two stages set up where you can, we got tables and chairs set around the stages. You can listen to the music and, and eat your food. We got food trucks and food vendors set up. Uh -huh. You can enjoy the music and uh, taste all the wine from the uh, winers. Each winery will have like four tastings, mm -hmm. four different kinds of wine, and mm -hmm. it's unlimited. But it's a great day. It's 11 to 5, and uh, there's tickets available. It's $60 in advance or 65 at the door. And then that night in the music hall, we've got Josh Turner in concert. So. And I have some tickets to give away, and today, later in the day, much later, I'm going to have my buddy Miss Vicki probably helped me, and we're going to get them taken care of, so you will win. Today is Tuesday. That way you have time to come to see us, get the tickets, come and see the concert. Josh Turner is one of those voices. When you hear his voice, you get that it's him. Absolutely. It's it. an yeah. awesome, awesome concert. It's his 20th year. The 20 long years? I can remember when he started. Yeah. It was like he was a newcomer. Yes. He was a newbie. Yeah. The name of his tour is The Long Black Train. <coughs> Love that song. And he has got such a deep voice, and he's so excited. This is our third year in a row to bring him back, yeah, so people yeah. really love him. They and love we him. have sold about 1,800 tickets. The building seats 2,900, so if you want tickets for the concert, they're still available. I think they're $47 right. for the tickets on Josh So that Turner. means if you're good and you pay attention later when we give away some, we're going to do it on Facebook because um, I'll just kind of tell y'all, I uh, got a call right before we went on the air and I'm going to be in surgery at Kennestone in just a few hours. So Vicki is going to take care of it, but we will make sure that you get tickets. So had no idea that this surgery was going to be scheduled so fast, but we are going to move forward and we're going to take care of business. Absolutely. So, and that's there very, you go. very important to take care of it fast. There you go. There yes. you go. <laughs> when a doctor calls and says, I want you in here immediately, you're going, what? <laughs> so immediate means I leave the air today and I go down and then tomorrow you're going to get to have uh, my stand-in, Mr. Dwight Sanford, Mr. LJ, will be here with Debbie Rooker, and they're going to be talking about the 50th anniversary of Burnt Mountain Center. And I didn't want to reschedule anything with anybody because he can take over while I'm gone. So, and thank you for, for doing that, for stepping in and doing it, because it's all about taking care of business. And that's, you know me, I don't let things get me down usually, but... This, when a doctor calls and says, we want you in here immediately, you're going, we're getting serious, aren't we? He said, yes, we are. So we're going to get serious well, and we're going to get it done. That's great yep. that you're going on and getting yep. behind you and you'll yep. be back at it real quick. I, I know will. you, Sherry. You work about 20 hours a day, so <coughs> keep do. on getting it now. Don't you slow down. <laughs> <laughs> no. <coughs> and thank goodness, thank goodness to get it over with. Absolutely, so. yes. Okay, now, what have you got going on besides Josh Turner? 
pollen. Can you tell the pollen's back? Yes, it is. <coughs> we had all that rain, and then the pollen came back. So. Well, we have, a, like I said, a lot of events coming up. We do still have the Rhododendron Festival going on, too. Beautiful. And it is absolutely year. gorgeous up there. Yeah. We um, have got the Rhododendron Festival. We've got food uh, trucks up there. We have live music. Uh, there's all kinds of vendors set up. And, of course, the gardens are in bloom, and it's absolutely beautiful walk through the the gardens and nature trails and along the lake it's just gorgeous but we also started something new up there last year it's acoustic sunset concert series mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we've added extra Are we shows looking at that beautiful lake? oh i know it's so pretty <sighs> so pretty um, every thursday night and this we, we're doing a spring series a summer series and a fall series so this thursday night may the 11th is angela easterland she'll be performing up there for the acoustic sunsets and you can see the sun go down and we have mm -hmm. the food trucks and the vendors and all and it's absolutely you bring a chair or we have chairs too you know mm -hmm. but it's there and it, uh, on right there at the gardens and it's under the pavilion it's just beautiful we have a stage there um, then we'll start a summer series and that starts on June 29th and that'll go through July 27th mm -hmm. then the fall series starts August 31st and goes through October 5th and it's every Thursday night at 6 30 so mm -hmm. come out or six o'clock I'm sorry six to nine come out and enjoy that but we also have the Beach Boys coming do you like the Beach Boys well you know me and the Beach Boys have a little history <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 from 1965 okay 1965 I actually stole the fort that Dennis ate a piece of pecan pie oh. with on Easter Sunday and I was sitting there, and this is hysterical, but I have a picture of me in this bathing suit. Now, we'll never show that. <laughs> we'll never show a picture of that again. But it was crazy because Mother worked in marketing at Minute Maid and Coca-Cola, and we got to do some of the coolest stuff ever. And I got to have lunch with the Beach Boys on Easter Sunday. And it was so cool because I was sitting here, and Dennis and Bruce Johnson were sitting over here, and then Brian and Carl and the guys were down here, and... Uh, What's his name? Al Jardine. They're all there. And, and so Dennis is eating this piece of pie and I'm watching that fork and I'm watching that fork. And when he set it down, I kind of slid it across the table and I put it right here in my bathing suit and I brought it home. <laughs> and I told my mama, I said, if I die in my hope chest is my fork from Dennis Wilson. And she said, you stole it? I said, well, actually, I borrowed it. But yes, <laughs> I borrowed it for a lifetime. But what a great history of music. The Beach Boys, the Beatles, they were all in there at the same time. They all did their own thing. But they're still going today. They are and they're doing a lot of shows. I mean they're crazy I'm busy. amazed at how many yeah. shows that the Beach Boys and, and they're And we laughed. I was talking about them the other day and I said we still call them the Beach Boys but after I see them in today's period of time they're 80 are they yeah, 80 years old they are okay and they're, still, they're at still and they're still getting it and yeah. when they call in advance the show i have to i had to go get 10 tropical plants to decorate the stage i had to get two surfboards and i they, love it they I just called it. a few minutes ago the truck lines are delivering the surfboards <laughs> i asked everybody in three states if i could borrow surfboards well, that many people got surfboards no. in the mountains <laughs> no that's so funny so we're going to have a beautiful stage decorated with them and we've sold about 1900 tickets on the show and if you want tickets they're still available so that's yeah. may the 19th it's on a friday night and mm -hmm. i know there's a lot of graduations mm -hmm. and a lot of different events going on but come out and enjoy some great music oh you can record that graduation go see the beach <laughs> <laughs> ETC will be recording them anyway. We'll be showing them later. So don't you, you know, don't don't go to that. Gra no, I'm kidding, y'all. I'm kidding. I'm being sarcastic. But but it is it is truly um, the music of America. It the Beach is. Boys, oh, that is the music of America. It really truly yeah, is. It's going to yeah. be awesome. It really is, and a fun night. And we also have something really big planned for uh, Memorial Day weekend. The Hawassi. Pro rodeo. Do you mm -hmm. like rodeos? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. have uh, a labor. I mean, Memorial Day weekend. It's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And this year we have uh, rented more bleachers. We've got another additional 500 seats. Mm -hmm. It's real nice electronic. Which means you must have had a really good turnout. We last did. Year. Oh my yeah. goodness! There was not wow. enough places for people to sit. So. We, uh, we started out with a two-day event, and then we added a Sunday, which makes it three days. Mm -hmm. But uh, we got these electronic bleachers. You just push a button, it rolls out, and you push a button, they roll in. So that's going to be, cool that? be really nice for yeah. everybody to have yeah. to sit on. So an additional 500 seats for the rodeo. Those tickets you can buy online, or you can call us, or, or you can buy at the gate, either one. We're selling a lot in advance, so go ahead and get your tickets if you're interested in the 
uh, rodeo, and it's not going to rain either. Mm -hmm. I've already no, checked no, it out. No, no rain. Yeah, no rain. <laughs> and then in June, June the 3rd, we have the Happy Together Tour. That's, that's an exciting up. one because that's also that period of time that we grew up when we were listening to the monkeys, the turtles, the all, all these different groups. Back Who's going to be there? Well, yeah. we got, I think there's a, let's see if there's a sheet here on, right here. We've got the turtles. Uh huh. We got little Anthony, Gary Patrick. <gasps> little Anthony and the Imperials, one of my very, very favorite groups. And the Vogues and mm -hmm. the Classic Four and, and the Union Cow Union Gap, uh, Gary Packett, yes. young girl, get out of yes. my mind. I love, love, love that. Yes. That is awesome. That yes, is awesome. that's going to be a great show. And this is. And our, if y'all are good, when I heal after surgery, I'll be giving these away. So that's really cool. That's yeah, really cool. Yeah, we got cool. tickets for that Yay. to give away Yay. as well. But uh, all these shows are on sale. And then June the 10th, we've got Travis Tritt. Mm -hmm. And this is our um, third, second time, I guess, to bring him back in back-to-back uh, -back years. And he's already sold out all the reserve seats, but we still have general admission available for him. And the general admission is 113, 113 chairs that we're setting up around the back of the auditorium. So you can get those if you want to online or you can call the office and we'll help you. Remember when he came out and it was, uh, I'm a member of the country club? Yes. That was like the song that hit everybody's mind and you it just made you feel good. It made you feel good about being in the country. It made right. you feel good about being a, a southerner. It just it was a cool song. He's got some really good songs and I think does he not have a home down towards Marietta, mm -hmm. Georgia? Mm -hmm. That's he what did. I thought. Yeah, yeah. And and I have to say this weekend he and his beautiful wife were at the Kentucky Derby. And she nailed it with the hat. She had on the prettiest hat. Well, she's a pretty lady She's anyway. a very pretty lady. And, and she's real sweet. I've met her and talked to her backstage. She's yeah, very nice. And, and I loved that um, they were enjoying. He said, we we do everything together. We enjoy being together. Isn't that awesome? Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. It really is. And then in June, we also have the Greater Atlanta British Motorcycle Rally. This is the... The Great Atlanta British in the Blue Ridge, it's in the Blue Ridge Rally, and there will be about 400 of them there for the weekend. Mm -hmm. We just had the BMW Motorcycle Rally this past weekend, but they're coming back in June, and they love it in Hiawassee, and they do all their mountain riding and everything, you know, mm -hmm. so it's really fun. And then the IBEW National Reunion, this is the retiree electrical workers. Mm -hmm. This will be their third time to come back to they the fairgrounds. They love these mountains, don't they? They do. Yeah, they really yeah. do. Their event is coming June the 17th through the 25th, and there'll be about 1,600 of them. They've got both campgrounds rented. They have the music hall rented and several buildings there for a whole week for all their activities. And then they have the whole Chateau Lodge rented out, Gosh. and they have like 50 rooms, I think, at Holiday Inn and 25 rooms at Ridges Resort. Do you so, know what that does for the economy of Oh, County? it's huge what it does. Are you kidding? Yeah, it yeah. just nailed it. And the, <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. they make it a big family event, and they have all kinds of children's activities. I know the those buses from over in Helen where they do the rafting, they'll come over there and pick them up on the buses, the children, mm -hmm, take mm -hmm. them back over there for a day of rafting and wow. picnic and all. So it's a lot of fun for them. And then on July 4th, we got the fireworks. That'll be at 945. We'll have vendors set up down in the village uh, starting at 5 o'clock that evening. And we plan to have a cornhole tournament that weekend as well. So we'll shoot the fireworks at 945. There's plenty of food available. It's a fun thing for the entire family to come out and enjoy. Mm -hmm. And then Zach Williams, if you like contemporary Christian music, that's mm -hmm. coming up July the 8th. And those tickets are on sale. So if you'd like tickets to see Zach Williams, those are available as well. Brotherly Love Tour. This is Eddie and John Michael Montgomery. They're mm -hmm. brothers and they've never toured together before. Wow. So wow. they're doing 75 shows this year Gosh. and we were able to get one of them. And that's going to be during the fair. It'll be the first Saturday mm -hmm. of the Georgia Mountain Fair, uh, August the 19th. So those tickets are on sale. And then, of course, the fair will be August the 18th through the 26th. It's nine days of entertainment and we have some really, really good music coming. Uh, we've got. Can uh, you tell a difference? You know, school used to start in September, back a hundred right. years ago when you first started doing yes. the fair. School started in September. Can you tell a difference in numbers well, because school starts earlier now? We, we, we thought we could, but we changed the fair to July because of the school starting in August. And, mm -hmm. and we kept it in July for a long time, and then we had to move it back to August. Because in order to get this new carnival we got, we had to work with their schedule. Mm -hmm. And the only time they could, with their routing and everything, all the different fairs they do, mm -hmm. August was the only time. So we really haven't seen that much of a change, Good. really. Good. Uh, um, and people I can think, come out after four. Well, they so can, and not... they come on the weekends, too. <laughs> you know, yeah. so. 
But yeah. we got Herman Hermit starring Peter Noon will be there the first day of the fair. And then like John Michael Montgomery and Eddie Montgomery will be there on Saturday. We've got mm -hmm. T. Graham Brown coming. And then on Sunday, we've got the gospel music and we've got uh, the Down East Boys and uh, the Inspirations. And I'm going to, I've got and one. And let me tell you about the Inspirations. The new Inspirations last Thursday night at Shiloh Baptist Church in Jasper, Packed House had to bring out chairs. Absolutely. I've, I've watched the Inspirations since I was 14 years old. These guys are as good as, I'm not going to say better than, the original that started when I was 14 years old. Those, these guys nail it on everything. Well, that's they good to are, hear. They are on top of their game. Well, the that's best. great. The I'm glad to best. hear that. People yeah. like them a lot. Yeah. So they were in Jasper recently? They were last Thursday night, and it was packed house. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to add one more group there, too. I'm working <coughs> on that as well. And then we got Larry Gatlin and the Gatlin Brothers coming. What a sweet interview. He's so crazy. Last night I was looking at pictures, and do you remember when he jumped up on the desk and showed me what a grommet was in his, <laughs> in his blue <laughs> jeans that they that. make? And yeah. I was like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe you did this. <laughs> He was so much fun, and he is such a good interview and such a nice guy. He is Just a nice such a guy. Nice guy. Yeah. And, and they're still touring. I mean, I mean they do an absolutely oh, wonderful job. I think he told me they'd been doing this over 65 years. Yeah, a yeah. long time. Yeah. And the opening act is Destin Bennett, and he's out of Nashville, too, and he's bringing a full band with him, so that's going to be a great show there. Mm -hmm. And then August the 23rd is Lee Greenwood, and this is Lee Greenwood's last year to tour, so... He's going to retire. He said when he got 80, he's going to retire. Oh, 80? <laughs> yes. I retired 80. I know <laughs> 80. Tom huh? Pride didn't. So. <laughs> he says he's going to, so yeah, I guess he yeah, will. Yeah. And then um, Crystal Gale, she'll be here on the, uh, the last day. I mean, I'm sorry, on Friday. Uh, Crystal Gale and special guest Jim Wood Band, that's on Friday. And then on Saturday is the Casting Crowns. Mm, they're so and good. Casting so Crowns good. is going to sell out. So I would highly <coughs> recommend. If you want tickets, and, you better yeah, get them. Because it's already sold like 2,000 tickets mm -hmm, plus. Mm -hmm. And the building, like I said, only seats yeah. 2,900. Isn't so. it cool that inspirational music is selling out? I know. It's Isn't wonderful. Isn't cool that good music that, that is a good message is selling it's out? It's selling out. Yeah, and that is awesome. just wonderful. I yeah, think it's so yeah. good. And all of these, these uh, we changed our pricing a little bit this year. Anybody that wants to go to just to the arts and crafts and to the carnival, it's six dollars to get into the arts and crafts. If you mm -hmm. don't want to go to the music, then you don't pay for the music. But if you mm -hmm. want to go just to the music to see any of these shows, it's only ten dollars, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. under uh, twelve is free. So. Mm -hmm. You've got a great lineup there. Wow! And, um, wow! For ten bucks. For ten dollars. Yes. That's crazy. It is. That's it's, crazy. Yeah. Uh, of course, the carnival. You know, we have specials on the carnival down there. Mm -hmm. Some ride tickets. You know, as far as armbands and special rides and special uh, discounts that we're going to be giving. It's so. funny because I have never been into rides, but I raised a household of kids that loved them all, and the the more the merrier. They just love going over and over and over Riding and over. The rides. And I'm like, holy cow, y'all. I did the scrambler and the Ferris wheel and a couple others and then I was done and they're like, no, we want to run. And I'm like, are y'all my kids? Because that's <laughs> never been my thing, but boy, kids love it. Well, we've got a new carnival and so they're bringing more rides this year, even some newer rides. So and bigger rides. So and come there's out there's a beauty pageant happening. Yes, and the, <clears throat> excuse me, the beauty pageant is going to be on August the 18th, the day before the fair starts at mm -hmm. 7 p.m. So if we're taking applications If now, you have a beautiful daughter named Leanne Lucas, you might want to enter her in this contest because I saw her prom dress and it was beautiful and she might could win. So. <laughs> well, we definitely want anybody that wants to enter to come and pick up an application yeah, and, yeah. and enter. And so we do have it online and we have it at her office as well. And then we have some entertainment on the ground. Um, this Texas Tommy's Wild West Review and the World of Wonders. There's three uh, performances per day. So this will be ground entertainment that's included in your $6 mm -hmm. to go in mm -hmm. to see everything. And we're remodeling the exhibit hall down there where we have the Antique Farm Museum and the exhibit hall with all of our exhibits and everything. Mm -hmm. So come out and see all the rearranged. That's where the organs, organs are at too. Are. Yep. We are completely redoing all that down there and it looks so nice what we're doing. So And basically um, those organs are on loan or have been donated to They've been donated. It's yeah. a big donation from a, a gentleman, the Kimballs out of Alabama mm -hmm. and Jerry Taylor who's the historian there in Towns County was a big help in getting all those brought to mm -hmm, the fairgrounds mm -hmm. and it's a huge collection there's like three rooms of organs mm -hmm. down there That's that amazing. he yeah. donated it's over a million dollars because we and had when it we uh, think about appraised. that that used to be the instrument that you went to whether it was a church a funeral home uh, an event that was where they gathered around the organ and sang absolutely that was the 
musical instrument. Right, that's yeah. true. And he lets people that want that come in there to see the exhibit. He lets them play too if they want to wow. play. He plays himself, but he also lets other people play, and they enjoy that's it. Awesome. They have a really good time down there, and yep. it's just beautiful. Yeah. So yep. come out and see all that and enjoy it. And if you do nothing except go and do your engagement photos in front of the lake. It is such a beautiful setting. Oh, such it a beautiful is. setting. And if you go to the Rotterdam Garden and you, and you do that, such oh, a beautiful setting. Th yeah. There's nothing any prettier than, mm -hmm. and the lake's full too. Lake Chatug, mm -hmm. it's got full now and it's just beautiful. And all the rains made the trees all come out and all the greenery around the lake and the water's full and the flowers are in bloom. There's mm -hmm. not anything any prettier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just got back from Oregon. I went to Kansas. I saw that you, I called her and she's like, I'm just now landing in Oregon. And I'm like, oh no, what you doing in Oregon? So what did you do? My niece got married in Cannon okay. Beach, Oregon. We went, our family all went for the wedding. And then we went up to Portland for a few days and did some tours. And then we went on to Seattle and did some tours. And it was absolutely beautiful. We went on the waterfall tour. Mm -hmm. And I've never seen such waterfalls in my life. It's mm -hmm. just absolutely amazing. We did some hiking and all, but I Is Mount see Everest in Washington State? Am I remembering right? It's Mount Everest. Everest, I think it it's might Mount be. It's Mount Everest. And I think I, I, I'm remembering history from a hundred years ago. So, yeah. but but I've always heard that the mountains there make ours look like little nothing. Well, they do. They're, <laughs> they're <laughs> huge. <laughs> oh my gosh! One day we went on this hike. Uh, my brother said, let's walk up here to the fish market in Seattle. He says, it's just right up the street here. It was 3.2 tenths mile walking, and it was all uphill. I said, I'm not walking back. We're getting over. <laughs> How did you smack your brother? I was about ready to hit him, yeah. But the, yeah. The, the, the beauty there is absolutely, it's different from here. But mm -hmm. honestly, I didn't see anything any prettier than I was in Georgia. There you <laughs> go. There you go. It was just gorgeous. But I wanted to talk about the Daily Invents and American Made Festival. Mm -hmm. This is a fe That's uh, done so well. It's a three-day festival that we have in September. This year mm -hmm. it's going to be September the 14th, 15th, and 16th. And we've got Daily Invents that will be playing all three days. But mm -hmm. we've got Tracy Lawrence coming, the Needy Gritty Dirt Band, uh, Rhonda Vincent, which is Darren's mm -hmm. sister, right. Gene Watson, uh, the Bellamy Brothers, and the Malpas Brothers. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of entertainment for three days. Sure it is. And yep. each artist will play different days. So I want you to really get, take time to go on our website and check this out because each day we'll have a headliner. And Daily Invincible will be the headliner on Thursday. Mm -hmm. But on Friday, the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band will be the headliner. And it tells you at what time each artist is going to be playing. Mm -hmm. And then the same thing on Saturday, Tracy Lawrence will be the headliner on Saturday night. But get your tickets for this. You can buy a three-day ticket. You can buy a one-day ticket. However you want to come. I mean, if you want to come all three days. It sold days, out every year. Just about it, yeah. yeah. COVID, when we had COVID that year, you know, it, it was a little struggle getting it going mm -hmm. again. But it, mm -hmm. it has always sold out and done really well. So... Uh, also, they're going to do a. They're doing this year. They're doing a VIP meet and greet. So if you buy the VIP tickets, which is right down front in front of the stage, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do a meet and greet with Daily and Vincent. You get a poster and you get a um, lanyard, and of course you get the VIP parking and the VIP seats. So it's a nice little package mm -hmm. if you do the VIP. Mm -hmm. And then we're doing a contest with bands, and that's going to be on. Um, all three days, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, uh, the, uh, the doing the competition now, and you send your tape in and over the internet, and they choose and pick who they have judges that pick them, and then the, whoever wins that contest gets to open up the show oh, each wow. day. How yeah, cool. so they don't actually go there and perform; they just send their product. Yeah, they send it in, and mm -hmm. then whoever wins it then gets to perform on yes, the stage That's at awesome. this. Yeah, so. Yeah. It's something that Daily Invincible And you know, i got to throw this out to people who don't know. Much of the talent that we see today in big concerts, on live TV, in, in national arenas, started at the Georgia Mountain Absolutely, Fair. Absolutely, they did. Started at the Georgia Mountain Fair. Because you have always opened your door to opportunity for new musicians to come and share their talent. Absolutely. We yeah. had Alan Jackson there when he cost $10,000. I know. We crazy. had Reba McIntyre there when she was $10,000. <laughs> yeah. George Strait was yeah. there when yeah. he was $10,000. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, that's a great thing to be, I mean, it's, I'm so proud of it that we were able to mm -hmm. host those kind of people mm -hmm. and look at them now. Look what they've done with their oh lives and, and yeah. their careers yeah. have just yeah. took off. So that's a really good thing to be able to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. It really mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. But we also have the, this is something that we've had, this is, I think, fourth year, is the uh, Shelby Mustang Show. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the Shelby. Those are quite popular little cars. Yes, aren't they, they are. We just <laughs> yeah. had a car show a couple of weeks ago there, the Memory Lane Classic Car Show, mm -hmm. and they were two Shelby Mustangs. They were twins. They were parked up there in Pioneer oh, Village, how funny. and I took pictures of them. They were so pretty. 
Um, but the Shelby Mustang and Ford meet, that's coming up September the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. So another car show in September. That's the weekend after Daily and Vincent. And then we got, a, so, this is something new we've never tried before. It's called the Bob Seger Tribute Show. Oh, wow. And that's going to be on September the 30th. The tickets are $25 mm -hmm. and uh, they're on sale. We've sold several tickets for that. But I think that'll be a fun show. Uh, the guy yeah. that, that does the show, he travels all over the United States uh, and in foreign countries too doing this mm -hmm. tribute show. And he does mm -hmm. a great job. So. It is selling good, and people always like mm -hmm. Bob Seger, yeah, so exactly. it'll be fun. And then the Fall Festival is coming up in October. It's um, the George Mountain Fall Festival, nine days of entertainment, and that's October the 6th through the 14th. Mm -hmm. So this is a pretty time of the year when the leaves are in bloom, uh, are, are turning, and it's just beautiful. Wasn't that the Fall Festival, the last concert that Loretta Lynn did with you? Wasn't you know, it, it may fall. have been. I don't know. And, I'm not and, sure. And it's so weird how then the next couple of years her health declined and declined and declined. There, there are people that have crossed your stage. Charlie Pride, um, Billy Joe Royal. Uh, who else is gone? So Conway Tweedy. Conway Tweedy. So Jim many Brown. of them are gone. Yeah. Uh, Merle Haggard. Merle Haggard, Merle Haggard. Yes. So many of them are gone, and what an opportunity to see these great talents locally. I know yeah. it is. It's wonderful that we've got what we've got up there. But on the fall festival, on opening night, we've got Mark Chestnut coming. He'll be there on October the sixth. And we have on October the 7th, Jodi Messina. Mm -hmm. And that's a hard ticket concert. And we have really sold a lot of tickets on her show. So if you want to see Jodi, I'd definitely get those tickets. And then we've got Diamond Rio coming. We have the Traveling McCurries. If you like bluegrass, that's mm -hmm. a really good group, group of uh, bluegrass uh, entertainers. And then on Gospel Day, uh, that's on Sunday, October the 8th. we got the Troy Burns family, we got Jason Crabb, and we got the Booth Brothers coming. And the Booth Brothers are always on top of their game. They yeah. are. They're so they're good. They're amazing. And, and last year, when I had, I had Jason Crabb last year, so many people really, really mm -hmm. liked him. Mm -hmm. And he had the best time there. So I thought, well, you know, I'm going to bring him back. Yep. And he, when he was there last year, he just thought it was the most beautiful place he'd ever seen. And we were trying to find him to pay him, mm -hmm. and we couldn't find him. We looked everywhere <laughs> after the show was over. Well, we waited, and we, I'm talking about like an hour and a half, and we still couldn't find him. And you want to write him a check. <laughs> we knew he was there. We just couldn't find him. We found him down on the lake. He thought it was the most beautiful place he'd ever seen. He took a walk out in the campground and was down on the water. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so he I really, really appreciated the venue and appreciated the beauty that he was getting to enjoy mm -hmm. there for a little mm -hmm. while. But we also have the Bellamy Brothers coming. You said you've never seen the Bellamy Brothers? I have Brothers? not, no. They're going to be there on October the 11th, and they are so good. They harmonize so good together. Mm -hmm. I just love them, and so good to work with. Mm -hmm. And then Ronnie McDowell, October the 12th. Now, you've seen you've I've seen, seen he, I've seen Ronnie McDowell twice there, and the only thing that disappointed me about Ronnie McDowell he did not do my song, and I think he changes up the songs, The King is Gone. Yes, Remember that uh -huh, one? Yeah. He didn't do it either time I was there, and I was like, now listen, that was number A5 on my jukebox in my restaurant, and I played it every day, so you got to give me that song. Absolutely. But his concert was amazing, yeah. He does a great job. He gets out in the audience and mm -hmm. just entertains mm -hmm. and gets the audience involved, and they just love it. Yeah. Um, Shannon Doa, they're going to be there on Friday, and then on Saturday, October the 14th, Trace Atkins mm -hmm. will be there the last mm -hmm. day of the Fall Festival. And that show's going to sell out. It's oh, already yeah. getting, uh, we've probably sold over 2,000 tickets on that show. Mm -hmm. And that's a hard ticket, but that's the last day of the Fall Festival. And for people who love either gospel or bluegrass or country music, there's not a better venue anywhere. There's because not. Because it's up close and personal, even at 3,000 seats. It's up close and personal compared to any arena that we go to. It is. The big and, you, and you don't yeah. uh, have a bad seat in the building. All the yeah. seats are good. Yeah. But yeah. Trace is really doing well, and, and we've not had him in a real long time. Mm -hmm. um, his price has gone up so much, so he's $100,000 this year. So if you want to see him, I think you better come because he may be next year to work in Oh, my gosh. Yes. He, wow. He is wow. not cheap. And the Who'd last, have thunk it? <laughs> last time I had him, I think I paid him fifty-five or 60000 That's how much he's That's gone up in price. crazy. Wow. But he's, wow. he's uh, getting it. If you want to see him, I highly yeah. recommend it. Yeah. But we have some really, really good things still after the Fall Festival coming up. We have the Appalachian Brew Q and Stew Festival. Mm -hmm. That's that did well, didn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. it did. That's yeah. October the 21st, and we got 75 breweries coming. 
So uh, there's all kinds of vendors set up, food. It's just a really fun time. And the Wheel of Fortune's coming. Now, you're going to have to come to that. I need to come back to that. <laughs> we yes. went to, what did we go to? Uh, we went Price, to the Price is, is Right. right. The yes. Price is Right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's going to be October the 28th. So we got the tickets on sale for the Wheel of Fortune. So come out and have a really fun time with mm -hmm. the Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. That's a fun game. I it like was, it. Yeah, yeah. My granny would say, Shh, don't talk wheels on. And I'm like, what? She watched it religiously and it helped her keep her mind flowing because oh, yeah. she would solve those puzzles. Yeah. And I thought, she's in her 80s and she's like, hush, should the wheels on. <laughs> like, okay, <The> wheel. <laughs> Okay. And then we have the Christmas concert already booked. You think about Christmas, but we just had Christmas, but the Oak Ridge Boys Christmas concert oh, is going to be, be there December the 2nd. So make plans to come out and see that. And then we open the Mountain Country Christmas and Lights on Thanksgiving night. Mm -hmm. So they'll open on Thanksgiving night and go through December the 23rd. Were the weather days good for you last year? They were. We had a little bit of rain, but mm -hmm. nothing major. And, mm -hmm. and it was not that cold. You know, we had a pretty mild yeah, winter, really. Yeah. We got cold at Christmas Until time. it hit minus three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Christmas yeah. holidays was horrible yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. as far as the weather. It really yeah. got cold. Yeah. But other than that, yeah. we, we had a great, great turnout for it. Yeah. The biggest crowd we've ever had and um, hope to uh, have that again. And hopefully we'll get some new things this mm -hmm. year and make it look beautiful. Well, I want to remind y'all, we're going to take a commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about the tickets to Josh Turner that we're going to give away this evening. I'm going to make sure that my bestie can do it because... I probably won't be feeling like doing it, but she will be doing that. And we're going to give them away purely because the concert is this weekend. And we want you to get your tickets and be sitting there, compliments of the Georgia Mountain Fair. Yes. So here we go. We're going to take a commercial break. Then we're going to do a song by Mr. Ella J because I think that y'all like him. And I think that we need to cue you up for him being here tomorrow to take my place as I am dealing with a little bit of a little bit issue, but we're going to take care of it. And, uh, all's going to be well, promise you. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella J, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? The mountains are calling and they're closer than you think. Farmers Crossing in Ballground offers creekside lots with homes beginning in the 400s. Walking distance to downtown shopping, dining, tennis courts, Calvin Farmer Park and local events. It also includes a beautiful hike to Long Swamp Creek. Leave the car and the worries behind. Move in by fall 2023. Call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. Hi, I'm Ryan Blaney, a third generation race car driver. And we dedicate a lot of our time to going as fast as possible. But when my grandpa was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, it was a very unexpected bump in the road for us. It's important to notice if older family members are acting differently, experiencing problems with their memory, or having trouble with routine tasks. Early detection of Alzheimer's can give your family time to explore support services, make a plan for the future, and access available treatments. If you or your family are noticing changes, it could be Alzheimer's. Talk about seeing a doctor together. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Play till the 
evening sun would come Then wandering down an old familiar pathway I could hear my mother call at set of sun Come home, come home, it's supper time the shadows lengthen fast Come home, come home It's supper time We're going home at last Come home Some of my fondest memories of my childhood Were woven around supper time and Mom, I remember how you used to call from the steps of our old home place. You'd always say, come home, son, it's supper time. What I'd give to hear that just one more time. But you know, time has woven a realization of truth that's even more thrilling. And that's when we hear that call from the portals of glory to come home for supper time. When all of God's children gather around the table with the Lord Himself, and we celebrate the greatest supper time of all. Supper time. The shadows lengthen fast. Come home, come home. It's supper time. We're going home at last. We're back. We're back. Okay, y'all. We have got so much going on all around North Georgia, from ball ground to turtle town. Each and every one of your little towns is doing something. We have Memorial Day celebrations going on. Then we'll have the 4th of July celebrations. I think ball ground celebration for 4th of July is going to be June the 24th. And I think they do that not to conflict with anybody else. Well, that's and so fine. we have a concert, then we'll have the fireworks there. And if you haven't been to Ball Ground for fireworks, I can tell you about 5,000 of you show up. And That's we good. have seen it. But I love that they show up, they enjoy it, then they disperse and they're gone. Right. It's so fast and so furious and it is so awesome. If you have things happening in your town that you would like for us to talk about, get in touch with me. And you can do that by calling me at 404 375 And possibly the best way to do it would be to text because if I'm on the air, I can't answer the phone. So if you'll text me and if you have events coming up that we need to share, we would love to do that. That's what we're here for. And, and you know, um, I've been lucky enough to live through, we lived through COVID, we've lived through financial crisis when the bottom fell out and so many people lost everything they had. We've lived through, and ETC is a company that is, it is family owned over a hundred years. On this Friday, we're going to be doing an interview that you're going to get to meet the editor of the Pickens County Progress. And you said you've advertised in the yes, Progress. Yes, I have. Over 135 years of a family owning a newspaper and the family being the editors in chief on all those phases. And we like local newspapers. So we like working with the local newspapers. And it's whether it's Fannin or Gilmer or Cherokee or Pickens. We like when you have those family-owned businesses. So if you have a successful family-owned business that you're generational, I would love to share your story. Because, Hilda, sadly, not many of them are still around. That's true. And I still like to read the paper myself. I love it. I really do. I love it. And yeah. not only the Towns County Herald, but I read the North Georgia News. I read the Clay County Progress. Mm -hmm. I subscribe to a lot of them. Yeah. And a lot of people, like in Jasper, there where the Pickens County Progress, a lot of those people come to our concert sure hall. They and they do. want to see yeah. what's going on in Hawassi, too. That's so right. That's I right. just think it's great to be able to still have the papers and be able to read all that. I love reading the papers and, and I've been, keeping up. I've been worried that with all the who 
la-la that Facebook and Twitter and all those things that are making all those guys gazillionaires, people, you know, it's immediate posting and you have to go to the progress or you have to email them or you have to give it to them so it's not immediate, but it is factual. It is. Because they check facts. Yes. And they check facts, not foolishness. So. <clears throat> as some of them do, and some of them, um, I mean, I've, I've put stuff on Facebook and been kicked off, sent to Facebook jail for the dumbest things in the world. The paper is responsible for what they air and, or what they print, and they will say, yeah, we did this, and we checked this, and we were there at that event. We were there at the city council meeting. We were there at this, you know, town hall meeting. That's what they do, is they factually check, which is something that we're missing on Facebook. Right. So, you can't yeah. believe everything on Facebook. No, you can't. You're in trouble. No, you can't. If, you could, if you could, I'd get me a picture of me skinny and put it on there and say it was me. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, okay, now we're going to be giving away some tickets. And again, I want to remind y'all, um, everybody knows my bestie is Vicki Holyfield, and she's going to be with me at the hospital and then I'm going to arrange it so she can we're going to figure out a way to give away a couple of tickets tonight so we're going to we're going to figure this out we're going to give away a couple of tickets to the Josh Turner concert and if you paid attention to what Hilda was talking about today the question the answer to the question will be she said the name of his tour is and I'm not going to say it but if you'll watch the playback we'll be re-airing at five o'clock today we re-air at midnight, but I think we're going to try to give away the tickets tonight, so that way y'all can get them, grab them tomorrow and, and be ready to go to the concert. He was known for a certain song, and we all knew, and there was, we might just give you a little hint, there was a whistle that blew, wasn't there? Yes, there was. <laughs> there was a whistle that blew, there was a whistle that blew. Well, you're going to be blowing the whistle to opening day of a very, very busy season. And, you know, I love arts and crafts, and I love antiques. Tell me a little bit about the crafters that will be there. Well, we have some great vendors. we actually got a guy coming for the um, wine festival that does pottery, and he's going to come back for the fair. And he does some classes somewhere, and he's going to bring his wheel mm -hmm. and demonstrate mm -hmm. and do all that. So it's going to be really... The most famous scene in movie history of pottery is in a movie and that can be one of the questions that we give away tickets to Josh Turner. Don't say the name of it but you know the name of this movie. Yes. And it starred the most amazing man and dancer in the world. Oh. In the world. And, and our producer knows the answer and he wants <laughs> yeah. but, but it is Pottery is one of those things you take nothing and you form beauty. Yes, and I love to buy pottery. Yeah, I, every place beautiful. I go, if they have good pottery, I always am interested in it. Mm -hmm. Any kind of shops anywhere, um, and just and I have to have a lot of items a lot of times for conventions, for auctions, or mm -hmm. giveaways, or whatever. And I always think, well, a nice piece of pottery. If somebody's yeah. going to bid on, if you have an auction, they're going to bid on right. that pottery. Right. You know? So I always try to watch out for things like that. But we have not only the pottery, but we have jewelry making, we have leather making, we have uh, wind chimes, we have, um, you know, all kinds of stuff that you can, uh, you know, women's. to remind you of the country living. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. There's yeah. just, there's handmade you know, arts and crafts there. And then, of course, we have all up the demonstrations up in Pioneer Village, and we have the soap and hominy making and the board splitting and the now quilting. Now, tell me about the hominy. Who does the hominy? Because I've had homemade hominy as a gift. One of our viewers here brought me homemade hominy. Tell oh, me really? about it. Yeah. Well, the people that do, does the uh, soap and hominy making, it's a husband and wife team, mm -hmm. and they've been doing it for quite some time. And I always go and buy the corn, and that's one thing i got to do because the type of corn that they had to have to mm -hmm. do the hominy up there it's uh, hard to find sometimes, so we have to order that in plenty of time. What's the name of it? It's a, it's a, I don't know what the name of it is, but it's a, it's a white shell corn, mm -hmm. and uh, they don't like the yellow. I think they have to have the white, and sometimes it's just hard to find wow. what they have to have. But I can, there's a place in Athens I can get it. Uh -huh. But they come and do it and cook it in a big black pot. You know, the mm -hmm. pot's up there, mm -hmm. and we provide the wood for it and everything. Mm -hmm. And then they serve it in little bitty cups when they get it done. And mm -hmm. if you want to buy extra to take take home with you, you can. Mm -hmm. But the, his wife makes the soap, and it's really good soap. And I just think that it's nice having the combination of a husband and wife team. Mm -hmm. We also have the moonshine still there, so if you want to see how moonshine's mm -hmm. made, you can mm -hmm. do that. We have the old general store there that's set up with the whole drug store, the whole way the old general store was run back in the 1800s. Mm -hmm. We have musicians playing on the front porch there. We have a one-room schoolhouse that's original one-room schoolhouse that was brought to the fairgrounds that people actually went to that school in Towns County. So wow. it's wow. old. I mean, it really, wow. really, and then the retired teachers come 
the Retired Teachers Association and their host is there doing all that. And the sawmill, we still have the sawmill. We're trying to get it up running again. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some issues with it, but we still have it on display. If we don't get it running, we have somebody doing the um, apple cider making where you put the apples down in the old log, you know, mm -hmm. and they push the, the, the apples, the apple stew makes the apple cider so you can mm -hmm. actually taste that. And like I said uh, earlier about the exhibit hall and right across from the exhibit hall is the Hawassi Garden Club and they'll have a um, state judge flower show again. Mm -hmm. So they mm -hmm. bring their judges in and judge that. And it's really neat to see all that, it really is. You know the one thing that's missing? And we just shot a special on it. Poke salad picking. We just did, took an hour, hour and a half to pick it and then five hours to look it, clean it, wash it four times, and then cook it and prep it. And we're doing a special for Mother's Day on this. And this was my phone rang and, and the boss is saying, would you be willing to film this and do poke salad? And I said, oh, I guess. So we did poke salad. And I used to think poke salad was poisonous because I'd been told that, well, it's not. You cook it correctly, you clean it good, you do all these things. Do you think people at the fairgrounds would eat poke salad? Well, they might be a few of them eat it. I mean, I, I know about it. My mother used to fix it. Did and you she, eat it? I did, and yes. she also did creases. She yes, did creases. okay, that's what I was going to ask you. I'm looking for somebody to find me some creases. I've put the word out, and none of my old grannies has found me any creases. Well, they're real, like they kept them real early by in the, the spring. By the creek bank. Yeah, by the creek yes, bank, and yes. that's where we'd always go. On Owl Creek. Uh, How did she cook them? What did she, she do? She washed them and cleaned them good, like you say, mm -hmm. and then she, she just put them in a pot with water and cooked them, and then she put a little bit of seasoning in there, mm -hmm. you know, when they got uh, to cooking, and all, I guess it was meat grease or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. but they were always good with cornbread. Lord, they were good. Well, were they kind of like, they call poke salad the spring cleaner yeah. of your body because yes. it does clean your body up. But was that why they used creases or just because they were available? That, she liked the taste of them. She mm -hmm. liked the creases better than she did the poke salad. So she was mm -hmm. always, every year, as soon as it got time for creases, she would call me and I'd go get her and we'd go hunt creases on the creek oh, bank. Wow. She loved it. Do and you think uh, today, if maybe next spring we plan, we could go find some creases? Yeah, if you let's go early enough. Okay. Well, let's do it. You just let's have make to, a date to I know do she it. always said that you have to go early because she said, you know, if you wait too late, you can't find them. And she mm -hmm. says, you go when they first start coming out and you can find them on the edge of the creek bank. Yeah, I know mm -hmm. what they look like. Well, I really see, do. I don't. I've had people tell me about them, but I've never seen them. But yeah. I've heard people say, well, I didn't like poke salad, but I love creases. When Mama cooked creases, I would eat the creases. Right. And I said, i got to find some. Well, so. I, I think I could tell you what they are if we find them, because she, she taught me what they were, because I did mm -hmm. not know what they were. But mm -hmm. I do know, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Are there other things about your childhood, like hominy, creases, poke salad, that you remember that people don't do anymore? Well, we always had three big gardens, because there were four children in our family, and mm -hmm. We always canned everything we had. We can we made homemade soup. We canned green beans. We had she even canned her own meat. Like we had mm -hmm. hogs, three or four hogs, you know. Mm -hmm. And she canned sausage and canned the ribs and uh, always have that and take it out, you know, and cook it. Oh my gosh, it was so good. The country hams they mm -hmm. would cure those hams back then. Mm -hmm. You can't do that no more. I don't think with the weather like it is, you mm -hmm. don't have cold enough temperatures. Right. But she always had like a big middle in of meat, and she go down there and cut her meat off, you know, in the smokehouse. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, and have biscuits. It was so good. <laughs> and You're making me hungry. <laughs> Some of the best eating you could ever have, wow. and, and uh, all them good vegetables, and she would can the corn. You know, we didn't have freezers back then. Mm -hmm. We just had to can everything, but she had, and she would, they would, back when I was a kid, they used to come through, and um, we lived on Highway 180 going up Soapstone up towards Brasstown Ball, mm -hmm. and the trucks would come through with uh, big trucks with uh, peaches on them. Mm -hmm. She'd buy like three bushels of peaches and can them mm -hmm. and she'd do pickled peaches and mm -hmm. she'd do the regular peaches mm -hmm. and we'd we'd eat all that stuff in the winter yeah. time you yeah. know but it yeah. was so good and she'd can, she can them peaches in half a gallon jars. Yeah oh yeah <laughs> because you open it and if you have four kids they're gone. It is. Time. Yeah. You know, two meals and they're gone. And uh, so, she yeah. used to get we'd pick grapes uh, fox grapes on the creek banks and stuff and she'd make grape jelly. Mm -hmm. You talk about some good jelly. Mm -hmm. she, my mother was a great cook and she knew how, how to do a lot of things but she learned because she had to take care of four children so she knew. Well at your demonstrations is there anybody who talks about and teaches canning because it's a it's a lost art. It is we have had a few 
few people that would come and bring like old canners mm -hmm. and set up a display and talk mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. I wish we could have a place set up where we could actually do the count yeah. canning yeah. itself, but I don't. Yeah. I don't really have that facility available, but I think that would be neat, and I'd love oh, to be yeah. a part of it because yeah. I love to can. I well, do. I have a group of cousins, and and we all. I, I, it's very strange, but we've all battled something, and and most of us have battled the same thing but we battled the loss of our mothers and our grandmothers who were our teachers, who were our teachers. And so not too long ago, I had to call Dinah and say, okay, how do you do this and this and this? Because her mama was like the canner extraordinaire. And, and she reminded me and I said, I thought I could cold pack them, but I wanted to make sure because yeah. I was doing tomatoes and I wanted to make sure I could cold pack and not have to pressure. And she said, yeah. And I said, you know, we're that generation. I, I brought a picture yesterday to show on the heart of the home and out of nine of us in the picture, six of us are gone and wow. three are here and it was only taken a few years ago. The generations are leaving. They are leaving. And, and with them the knowledge is leaving. It is leaving and if you're not if you've not been taught that then it's hard to go back and find somebody that can take the time to show you all that. But my mother taught us how to do all that canning and freezing and everything. Mm -hmm. So I know how to do all that. And I'm so thankful that I have that. She mm -hmm. taught us how to quilt. We know how all that, knew how to quilt and everything. So I could put, you know, frames up and do a quilt. Mm -hmm. But she just really taught us a lot of those things mm -hmm. that, that's important in life. A lost art. A yes. lost art. Now, speaking of quilting, are there going to be some beautiful quilts on site? Yes, we have an area down in the quilt room, I mean, in the exhibit hall where we're remodeling that we're going to fix an area for the quilts to hang. So anybody that wants to bring any really pretty quilts. I've got some beautiful quilts. Have you really? I have some beautiful quilts. Well, I need quilts. to talk to you then. And they're perfectly stitched. Are I they mean, really? perfectly stitched. And that's what I love. I always look to watch those tiny little stitches. Yeah. I do. I'll, I'll bring you some. Do that. My, yes. my aunt, she's passed away now, but she used to quilt and sell quilts. And mm -hmm. she, uh, she quilted all the time. And my mother helped her some, but they had some of the prettiest quilts mm -hmm. my aunt did that she made. But that would be great to get some, you, for, to some put them on display. Yeah. I, I used a yo-yo quilt to show at an event that we did in Ballground a couple of weeks ago because it's the colors of the Cherokee. Uh -huh. And and the colors of the Cherokee keep your home in harmony and, and do all these things, supposed to. And and I hope they do. But um, but it is, it is so cool to look back on women-made quilts out of the dresses yes. that they wore or the the shirts that their husbands wore yes. and when you change sizes or you stained it and you didn't want to wear it anymore then your wife would cut it up in these little circles and make a yo-yo quilt and they're just beautiful. I've heard of that. They're beautiful. My, there's a quilt in our family. My, my nephew has got it right now but it's over a hundred years old and when the bank of Hiawassee celebrated a hundred years uh, Miss Eloise Anderson, who's passed away now, but she wanted to borrow that quilt mm -hmm. from my mother and mm -hmm. put it on display there at the mm -hmm. bank. And well, I have some. I'll bring, you, I'll bring you some beautiful quilts. Okay, do yeah, that. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah, and, and sharing them and, and sharing the fact that people, women gathered together after they put their kids to bed, after they worked their crops and their fields, after they did all these other things, they gathered together and had quilting bees and sat together and made yes, a quilt. They so did. often it had their name on the quilt. Yes, yeah, yes, I've yeah. seen that. I sure have. Yeah, I've got some of those. That's so, yeah. uh, that's really neat to, that you know that we can talk about that and it's real life people. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't think the generation now is really that interested in doing mm -hmm. things like that. Do you? No, no, they don't take time. We laughed about that yesterday because. We all, oh, I've got to do laundry. Okay, you have a washer and dryer. How hard is it yeah. to do laundry? Oh, I have to cook dinner. Okay, you have everything you need. When we look at what our grandmothers did, I can remember walking in and Mama Martin having hot biscuits coming out of her wood stove. Yes, we had a wood stove. And I'm going to tell you, those biscuits were to die for. And she fried up fat back to yes. go with them. And she made her 12-layer apple cake oh in that same wood stove. Oh, I bet that so was we're missing a lot of the things we that are. were really, really cool about yes. us. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. the food. I've, I've actually got a wood stove down in my basement. If the power goes off, I can go down there and I, I love it. it. <laughs> I love it. I just think the food is so good on something like My mother used to can on a wood stove. Oh, yeah. She yeah. did. I, I know. don't know how she stood it. I have with shown no air condition. Well, I have shown houses that have their basement set up with a wood stove and shelves to put their canning on in Cherokee County right 
now where they have a beautiful home upstairs and everything is very modern, but you go downstairs and it's like walking into another century. Yeah. Because she said, this is how my mama can and this is how I can. Yeah. And, and, and I'm going to go back and visit this lady because she has some of the most beautiful canned stuff I've ever seen in my that's life. That's good. That's and really that's, good. Those are things we need to right. we need to treasure and preserve. And you can't buy that taste. No, that, no, all that good no, no, home canned no, no, food, no. you just cannot buy it in the no, grocery store. you cannot. You cannot. <laughs> she made watermelon rind pickles that are to die for. I bet that's good. I've and had I those thought, before. watermelon rind pickles, okay. And they were amazing. So I've had those before. I've yeah. never made those myself. You know what that means is that you would feed your family on what normally we throw away. Yeah. which is crazy because you we're throwing it away why not preserve it and make those That's true. it's a real sweet pickle but it's so good yeah so good yeah i've had it yeah. it's good yes hilda thank you so much for today thank you for getting me through a trying day for me well but thank you for having be, me on the show yeah. it's funny when the doctor called i was in the control room talking to the doctor <clears throat> and she said do you want to cancel today and i said no the surgery's not till 1 30 i'm good <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing live tv and then i'm going and slicing and dice and chopping and smother and cover and get fixed <laughs> and that's how i roll that's just how I well roll. that's wonderful and that's i'll i'll be back being in, positive uh, uh, in a little bit and uh, uh tomorrow you will have miss debbie rooker will be here celebrating the 50th anniversary of the special friends at burnt mountain center and the long history of that amazing amazing place and i hope that you will tune in i hope that you will Please put me on your prayer list and say, um, let's get rid of all this bad stuff and make sure that all those cells are gone and everything's going to be good and um, it doesn't spread any further than it's going. <clears throat> We're going to cut it short. We're going to make it sh trip short. Let's do it. Let's all right. Do it. Let's do it. And again, if you want to get tickets to the Josh Turner concert, we are going to be giving away some of those. We've got tickets for the uh, Turtles. We've got tickets for the Happy Together Tour. We've got some tickets, tickets, tickets to give away and some to the Wine Festival. I know some ladies in Ball Ground who'd probably love that. So we're going to be doing and doing and doing. And I think that y'all are going to enjoy this year's lineup because once again, you you hit the nail on the head. You hit a little bit of everything, but having the inspirations at the top of their game, I think that's going to be one of your greatest yes, days. Yes, I yeah. do. I'm excited yeah. about They're that. Great. I sure am. They're great. Yes. So that's going to be really cool. And again, if you need information about the Georgia Mountain Fair, visit their website. Their website is available 24-7. Yes, so, georgiamountainfairgrounds.com. There you go. There you go. And when you are out in the communities that we serve, think about what the tourism for the Georgia Mountain Fair does for your community because each one of your restaurants is going to prosper from it. Each one of your gas stations, your hotels, your motels, so many places are going to prosper because the Georgia Mountain Fair, we go through every county from Cherokee County to Pickens County, just on up the road. Every single person is going to benefit because as people leave Florida, where you have billboards up, right at the Georgia-Florida line, y'all are advertising in Savannah. You're advertising yes. everywhere. It's to get people out of that area and bring them to these beautiful mountains. Absolutely. And you've done it for now 70 how many years? Uh, this is 72 years this year. I've been there 42 years. 42 years. <laughs> Hilda, please tell me you're never going to retire. Well, I'm going to have to one of these days. I don't think I'll <laughs> find my way to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. And what a sweet memory of your mama and all the things that she taught oh, you. Oh, yes. It precious? is. It is precious. I love yeah, it. I'm so yeah. thankful I have that. And really this is am. Mother's Day week. And happy, happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you. We shared a little something yesterday with music from Mr. Ella J and a lot of your mom's photos. And people had sent me photos and asked me to do this and asked me to do that. And Trace just put that together. And thank you, Trace, for doing that. And we will probably re-air that again in the next day or so because a lot of folks said, oh, I didn't know my mom was going to be on there. I didn't know, da 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 da, da. So we'll share that again. Again, just put me on your prayer list. I will be back, and I will see you again soon. Tomorrow will be Mr. Ella J here as he and Debbie Rooker talk about special friends. Y'all take care. <laughs>